Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, today we're going to be working on my new pickup. It's a 1967 C20. So it sits right here. And you guys may have seen this in not the last video, but the video before. When I kind of explained what I was doing with things. And why I hadn't posted for a while. But I hadn't done a complete walk around and I'll do that today. And WD-40. For the hinges on the hood, they're a little stiff. But today, after the walk around, I'm gonna try to get this thing to fire up by pouring gas on the carburetor. I'm not gonna try. To, I'm not gonna have it run on its own. But I am going to try to get her going. But let's do the walk around. Since the engine bay is open, we got a small block V8. Ninety percent sure it's a 350. Single wheel carburetor. It cranks over. When I first got it, threw a battery in it and turned the key. All the lights work except for the blinkers, I think. And I was trying to figure out a problem with the, the fuse box, so that's why I got that all unplugged. But I think I just got a bad connection, so I got to clean all that up. But most everything works. The front clip makes it look really bad. Somebody threw a different front clip on her. The cab itself is actually really good. As far as the paint is actually really nice. Probably could buff it out. But since the front clip's bad, I plan on repainting this whole truck. Bed. Almost tripped on a tire here. Bed has a couple deals with it. Number one, the whole floor is diamond plate. Somebody welded a sheet of diamond plate in it. They did a very nice job. I don't know if I can show you here. Yeah, right there. I mean, they left the gap and everything. And then somebody welded hooks on the side. So the bed needs some work. Now, the thing with this bed is this is the 67. There's no lights inside the bed. I'm not sure when they put lights. Either 60 or 69 is when they went to the lights in the bed, side marker lights, along with the fenders. It's either 68 or 69, I can't remember. But I know 67 didn't have it. Maybe 68 might not have had them. I'm not too familiar on this body style. Um, so the bed, I'm thinking about replacing. I've got me another bed. I'll show you a little later. I got me another bed, and I'm going to throw in here. It is a 72. I got to make sure that the tail lights and everything is the same, which I think they are. I'm not sure, though. I know it has marker lights, so I'll probably actually weld those in if I did the bed swap. So it looks like a 67. So yeah, got to pull a couple of dents out of it and sand down all this Bondo stuff they got on there. Got a cracked windshield. Missing the bumper, but the guy I bought it from has a bumper and a gas pedal. It's missing a gas pedal. He basically said that what other parts I'm missing I can have as far as major parts. Like if the motor don't run, he told me to get on a motor because I traded five rigs for this truck. So some people might say it was a stupid deal, but I was moving and I had to get rid of them. Five trucks were, one truck's easier, easier to move than one. So I did the deal and he got a good enough deal that he said, whatever I need, I can have. That's about all the rest it's got. That hole there, I probably got to put a patch like that big in it. Um, interior is pretty nice. The seat torn and needs re revinyl. I think the padding is good. Uh, vinyl dash is cracked. I plan on repadding that. Ow! There's a needle in there. Just gonna leave that right there. It kind of hurt. Anyhow, I'm going to revinyl the dash. So it looks good, but I'm not going to paint the interior. I'm just going to clean it up. So I don't want to strip it. Um, not bad as a four speed. I'm not, it's either the SM465, which is was mainly the square bodies, or the SM420, which is mainly before uh, all the way back into the advanced design series. I'm not sure. 
I yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to crawl under there one of these days and see what I got. They're pretty easy to identify. The doors, they close real nice. And I love, I'm not a huge fan of push buttons on the door handles, but I love this one because it's just, it's big. When I went to the push button in 52, I didn't really like it because it had such a small button on it. But yeah, missing a door deal, a window roller. He says he has one I can have. I just got to go get the stuff. Yeah, the door closes real nice. He's got dualies on the rear, just dished out so it could dry, roll. He says he's got two other rims. Back here, this is all Bondo. This is why I want, why I want to replace the bed. I don't have time for all the body work. Here's the back of it. Tailgate is pretty straight. Um, last tabs was 09, last registered. So it's been over 10 years. But um, it's got the small back window for the Chevy because I had a really big one later on. So yeah, anyhow, let's get this. I think that's all the walk around I'm going to do now. We're going to pull this thing forward up there because we're having huge issues with fires and I don't want to start one. I got a bunch of grass under there. There's still grass up there, but it's mainly dirt that's been broken up from driving over it so many times. So I feel there's less likely of a chance of catching fire. So I'll drag it over, put some WD-40 on the hinges so they move, and see if I can't find a bottle somewhere in there and get some gas on the carburetor. All right, so I got the battery hooked up. I got my deal plugged in. It's not tight. Everything's still loose, but we're going to see fuel gauge is moving. Just cranks over. So let me get some gas in the carburetor. I'm not sure if this choke works. I'll check. Yes, the carburetor seems to fire up. Well, I need to jump it too because I know I'm not getting power to the coil. I'm supposed to figure that out. Alrighty, so I found me a bottle in the cab. It's, I guess, a wine bottle. Filled it full of gas, punched a hole in the top. Got me a jump wire going across. Perfectly safe. Got good butt connectors on it. So that it won't fall off and arc out. Um, choke. Has like an automatic choke plus the manual part. The manual part's not hooked up. So we're gonna just dump some gas down and see what happens. Okay, that's way plenty. Now she's probably flooded. Good sign. She likes a bunch of gas. I don't know. Maybe this thing's a gas hog. Go on, old girl. Fire him. She made a pretty good attempt there. Dump the rest in and see if we can't get her to rev up for a bit. If she'll fire it at all. Well, battery's getting pretty low. I still, this is my car battery and my tractor battery, so I can't run it completely dead. And I'm pretty much there. 
I think I'm going to do tomorrow is um, pop that off, maybe file the points down. I got her to pop, so I know I know she's going to run now, just because I heard her pop. Pretty good sign. So I think I can get her running tomorrow if I file down those points. So yeah, I um, figured I'd show you guys a couple other things with the batteries in. I did get a little bit of oil pressure while I was cranking. So that's a good thing, but um, yeah, my blinkers don't work. Work, but I'll show you guys here. Turn on my lights. Got a dome light. Got headlights. And I got tail lights. I even got me a, I even got me a um, license plate light. <laughs> so that's half the battle right there. Uh, I don't know if the fuel gauge works. I don't even know if there's anything in there. Kind of hope it does. The heater works, but I got it unplugged for my time being. Yeah, none of my bangers or stuff works. There goes my horn. I'll pick that up later. Um, clutch goes about there before I actually feel the pressure plate. So I don't know if it just needs adjusted or if it's getting pretty worn out. Probably both. Brakes pretty much go to the floor, but not quite. There is a little bit of something. So I'm hoping I just need a new master cylinder. But yeah. So, we're going to get back to her tomorrow. Um, see if I can't get this thing to fire up. And if she runs and sounds good, that'll be the end of the video. And then I'm going to start working on the carburetor and the ignition system. And cleaning this engine bay up. And try to get her to run on her own gas tank. Yeah, that's... All right, I got the cap off. And, you know... Looks really clean in there. It's promising and then I guess kind of not promising. So I kind of wonder what happened to this thing. What caused them to park it? It's just because of the front clip, like it got wrecked or something, or something else happened. These last tabs are 09. Anyway, got some memory cloth here. I'm going to clean it up, clean up the points, kind of file the rotor down a bit. Then we'll try to fire it up again. All right, I got the points piled down. We're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna dump a little bit of gas. I got my new can of ether. Hoping the points help a lot. We'll see. A bit of gas. A little bit of ether. Close the choke. Let's see what happens. Well, that helped a lot. So, I'm gonna dump a little bit more gas in there. I'm not even gonna do ether this time. Okay. A little bit much. Let's see if she runs. For a little bit. I do want some ether. moment maybe, maybe I can get my dad out here help me a little bit all right I got my dad here to help so Ready? hold up here we go 
I did pretty good actually. I got an exhaust leak. I got a crack manifold right here. Show you guys. So, I gotta fix that. I'm gonna rebuild the carburetor, redo the ignition, new cap rotor, plugs, and wires, and points. I gotta get an actual wire, get voltage to my coil. And I'm thinking about just tearing off this fan shield just because it's all busted up get this all prepped up for body work and paint i'll sand it down i get this bondo out of here and redo it so i can take those dents out and i gotta take this dent now that's way too big a dent to fill in <laughs> get as close as i can to straight and then I'll bondo what I'm trying to limit as little bondo as I can. I hate bondo. So, but I'm not that great of a body man to get it perfect in one try. So, then I'll um, primer the cab. Well, I'm not going to primer the cab. I'm just going to primer where the dents are, sand her down. But I'm going to paint her the same colors. So I should be able just to sand it down and call it good. The bed, I'm up to primer. And put a different bed on. I'll show you guys the bed here. I'll walk up there and show you. Interior. I think I already talked about this, but I'll go over it again. Interior. Redoing that. Dang, that needle again. Poked me. <laughs> Redo the vinyl on the dash. I'm not going to paint it. Um, I'm going to fix what rust is there and maybe get me a new format. Doors closed really nice. Need to redo the wheel bearing. See, look at this one. It's shot. It doesn't even sit in there straight. So I'm gonna redo both both front wheel bearings. And then you get me two rims for the back. Other than that, I admit brakes, I need to figure out what I need to do on the brakes. Don't know yet. Okay, wait till we get it driving. Other than that though, I think we're pretty much set. The motor sounded pretty the motor sounded good enough to drive. So I kinda wonder if something else happened, like maybe the clutch went out. The clutch does feel weak as far as pressure plate. Other than that, I think that's going to be a pretty sweet truck. Um, I'll go up and show you guys the bed real quick, and then we'll end this video. So this is the bed I'm going to throw on here. This is a GMC bed. So I'll be swapping tailgates out. And it is newer because of the um, no marker lights. I'm guessing it's like a 72 or something. I'm not sure. It's got really straight sides. It's got a really nice bed in it for a couple holes. Overall, the floor is pretty nice. Front part hardly has any dents. Overall, really straight bed. It's got a dent right there, but it's more of a gradual one. So I can just, I think, almost push that out with my hand. It came off of a 66 Chevy I had bought in years ago. Somebody just set it on that chassis. And I pulled it off, set it on here, but I've never actually used this dump frame. So this is the bed that's going to go on that pickup. Anyhow, I think that's going to be this video. Um, as far as when I'm going to get to this thing running on its own fuel system, I'm not sure. 
Don't have a shop yet. And I'm still working on buying a piece of property. So I'm trying to hold off on buying parts for now. But as soon as I get a piece of property, I'm definitely going to hop onto these projects. I might sell a little bit of my side to the carburetor and get around on our own fuel system. There's still a lot of work I want to do because I want to get this thing driving so I can drive it. And then I'm going to sell it because it's not exactly my favorite body style. So, anyhow, thanks for watching everybody. I think I'm going to end this video right here. Um, stay tuned for more videos on this truck or got a little bit of a lineup there. And some tractors too. But, anyhow, this is going to be it. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.